NA1SS, NA1SS. Call it distance learning. Hey, this is NA1SS. Have you loud and clear? Over. Very long distance. I don't know how far up it is, but I do know that it moves at a crazy amount of speed. Students at Estes Park Elementary got Friday's lesson directly from the International Space Station. I am excited to talk to you and I am ready for your questions. Over. The teacher, astronaut Shannon Walker. It's really surreal. I mean, it just felt like a dream. I was like so excited. I couldn't hold in my excitement. The kids were selected by a special program called ARIS. So ARIS stands for Amateur Radio Aboard the International Space Station. A ham radio tower was installed at the town observatory so kids on Earth could contact astronauts. Fifth graders keyed the mic with questions. How has COVID-19 affected you or your trip to space? Over. They only had about a 10 minute window to contact Walker as the space station flew over Colorado at more than 17,000 miles per hour. But in that short amount of time, a large appreciation was gained. I think that they're really cool and brave because going up to space is a really huge risk. They learned about important research being done on the ISS and that the station is totally pandemic free. And actually getting to hear her voice was so cool. The virus has not been the only interruption to normal life in Estes Park over the past 12 months. I was evacuated three times. While in the middle of the pandemic, this small community was also sandwiched between the two biggest wildfires in Colorado history. But today, is shows you that, you know, life has ups and downs and the ups can be amazing. I like to look at the universe and the Milky Way is absolutely stunning because there are so many stars. A scratchy voice from 220 miles away with a very clear message for some 10 year old kids. So it was just a super cool um, experience that I got to do. I mean, how many people get to say that they got to talk to an astronaut? In Estes Park, meteorologist Corey Reppenhagen, 9 News.